Each year, more than 4,000 Londoners die prematurely because of the toxic air. There are many children who've got permanently stunted lungs because of this invisible killer, but also adults with a whole host of health issues from asthma, cancer, heart disease, dementia. We are facing an air pollution crisis. And what Anya says is right, we are now hopefully coming. The mayor's administration is totally out of control. They're not listening to people. They want to tax people beyond more than they can afford. It needs stopping. The government intervened in Scotland recently, albeit for completely different reasons. They can intervene if the case is strong enough and I would urge, urge if we need them, that they come to, come to the rescue as it were. You can take the 350 odd million pounds that he's going to spend expanding the cameras and you can spend it on electrifying bus routes, you can spend it on, you can pinpoint areas of poor air quality and have local solutions. You don't need this one size fits all tax grab that's going to hit the poorest the hardest. It's going to put businesses out of business, it's going to stop people visiting friends and family. People who are jumping in a perfectly good and serviceable vehicle two or three times a week to, to go to the, to the hospital, to visit friends and family, go to a bingo club, whatever, are all of a sudden going to be taxed uh, an unaffordable amount. transport in London is devolved to the Labour Mayor of London and it is disappointing that the Mayor, backed by the Leader of the Opposition, is choosing not to, listening, not to listen to the public, expanding the zone against the overwhelming views of residents and businesses. I urge the Mayor to properly reconsider and respond to these serious concerns.